here is day two everything out of the coffee nook all my coffee cups and things that go along with that more over here the little decompostable straws they're eco-friendly and i have just a core down because we cleaned the window sills and behind the sink and all that and we just got more and more junk to clean out yay this has been a project but look the coffee nook is eating a good scrub down but the cabinets are empty and i got a dress down there that ends up being just like a junk collection area but got everything out of the drawers all of that and i'm gonna rehang those signs more evenly okay so we are tackling the coffee nook today i got everything out of it we're just gonna wipe down the counters and the shelves and try to get it neater and cleaner looking just rehung my little Guinness signs, a little bit crooked, but whatever. Now it's time to clean up all this steel coffee and sugar. Stevie over there, but I've also emptied all the drawers down here. This was originally like a desk kind of area where you would, I guess, have a laptop, your modem, or whatever. But who is work doing computer work in their kitchen by the back door? Fucking nobody. Especially not me. <laughs> I think this is meant to be like a catch-all area as you come in from the garage. But yeah, I decided it made a great coffee nook. Uh, thanks to my friend Chandra's idea. So that's what it has become. And it served me well. It's just a bit dirty. Because if you know me, you know coffee is pretty serious business. Uh, I don't drink alcohol anymore. I'm actually a year sober this year. So coffee's become more of a, a thing for me than previously. Even though I've always loved it and it's always been a thing. It's just kind of filled that little, I guess it's weight or whatever. My husband's already wiped down these. He leaves me the things that I can't reach to. Because if you haven't noticed, I am super short. And yes, the, uh, Paint is messed up over here because they put latex paint in our kitchen and you don't use latex in kitchens. But that's what you get when it's your first time buying a home and you assume contractors are doing the right thing. So anytime the latex gets wet, it immediately peels off like a damn blackhead mask. <laughs> Peel off masks. It's basically it's that. And right now I do not have a fancy coffee maker anymore because my ninja bit the dust. <laughs> so I'm just using a little shitty one right now and I will probably upgrade eventually. But I've been just making my coffee on the stove or using this little one when I'm in a rush. That is all wiped down. Now we're gonna start putting stuff back. <laughs> Yay! First up, my favorite mugs that came with our dining set, or place and dishes set, whatever. I like these. I like that have Venetian bronze. So they're going to go right here because I use them pretty regularly. If you've watched my videos and seen me drink coffee, that's usually what I'm using. I'm beginning to think I have too many mugs. So the travel mugs, I'm just going to have over on this side. So I can get to them easily. It's my big mug for days when you need a lot of coffee. Actually, I believe my dad sent me flowers or something in this when I was little for Valentine's Day. And just still have it. Uh, an aliens travel mug, of course. It glows in the dark. I know that there's some aliens over here. These are for when you do like a what, Irish coffee or something, which I don't drink. But I do have a friend who enjoys Bailey's and I think Irish coffee. He always brings Bailey's over here. Hence the two balls I do have. But I just drink regular coffee out of these. I like them. I just like to look at them. And I think they look very 80s with that like lined look. I mean, these are super old. They're probably from the 80s. And I just think they look cool. So I, I like them. I'm just going to pop them right here. So they're all just kind of in my short ass reach. I think it's the last of the cups. <laughs> 
This is just a classic picture. I think she lives somewhere else. That I don't use very often. But I think you could find a home one. Another part of the house over there in the plastic stuff. This is our coffee nook. This was a little bit of a project because she had gotten messy and it ended up as like a catch-all area because it's just like one of those like desk situations that's in a kitchen for some reason. But anyway, let's have a little look and a tour. If you open these cabinets right here, I have found a home for all my little travel cups, my kettle, and all my mugs. More mugs up here crafts and my stovetop coffee maker and just some fancy mugs up there. <laughs> These mugs were my grandmother's. They're just old, super, super old. And I think they're so dang cute. So they just live up there where I can still see them when I open my cabinet. Stevia right here and my coffee. These were from Cracker Barrel last spring. I love them because they look like beehives. I have my little bee rest right here. You can just I'm probably gonna put like spoons in it when I make coffee and stuff. Crappy little coffee maker we're using right now because the ninja needs some repair work. I also have my two Guinness signs back here and then over here I have my teas and these wooden canister and bowl my father-in-law made for us and he's a really good craftsman so he makes beautiful things and he made those. And then we just have some coffee and a cute little mug. And that little, this little lady is also from Cracker Barrel. I think I got her for Valentine's Day <laughs> quite a few years ago. And she's just, I love her. She's so cute. And then just in the drawers I have like things that go with coffee makers and stuff. And some various little like straws, things like that. And I have this Guinness flag here. This is from the... Guinness Brewery in Ireland. My brother sent this to me and my husband because we both loved Guinness at one point and now we both can't drink it, but we still decorate with it. And then if you just pan around behind you is my little cork board. It's just some special mementos on it. 